Hey everybody, look familiar? Doing a unhaul today and just wanted to show you guys what I am going to be removing from my collection to make more room for the series that I really love. So here we go. First, I have a series that I have had for a really long time. This is Replay. This is the complete series, three volumes. Really unique art. It is about vampires. I really enjoyed this a while ago. I reread it recently and just decided, you know what? This is more nostalgic than actually enjoyable for me. So gonna let this one go. Next, I have Star Collector. This again is a completed series in two volumes. It is a very tame yaoi manga or BL manga. I did really enjoy it when I read it. I do really enjoy the art of it, but it's one of those things that I liked it. I didn't love it. I don't feel like if somebody came into my library and wanted a suggestion for manga, that this would be my first pick for them. So this will also be leaving my collection. Next, I have the first volume of The Fox and Little Tanuki. This was a pretty cute title about this fox who has been cursed and has been trapped for, I think it's a century. But he wakes up and is told that he has to train this little Tanuki to basically harness his powers. It was cute. It was fun. Again, not something that I super loved. I just liked it. Next, we have a completed manhwa, Your Lover, Romance Manhwa. Honestly, I could not get past the first volume of this. I did not enjoy it at all. It was confusing and convoluted and the relationship just wasn't my thing. So uh, this one will also be leaving my collection. Next I have X Day. This is from one of my favorite manga artists and it's complete in two volumes. It's about these students who decide that they want to blow up their school because they're all really unhappy. Um, this, again, series, I liked it. I didn't love it. This is a series that I actually absolutely love, but this is a double. I have two copies of this volume, so I will be getting rid of this volume because I don't need two of them. Next, I have an older series. This is Moon Child. I recently read the first volume of this. I really enjoy the art and the story was interesting, but it wasn't interesting enough that it made me want to actually keep collecting it, especially because these volumes are quite difficult to find and can be very expensive. So this series is going to be going out of my collection. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll recollect it. But for now, it's going. Next, I have another older series. This is Slayer's Super Explosive Demon Story, Legend of Darkness. It is volume one. I did really enjoy Slayer's when I was younger. Um, this kind of seemed to be sort of like side stories, and I didn't enjoy it nearly as much as I used to, so I've decided to let this one go as well. Next, I have another completed series. This is Vampire Doll. I really love the art in this series. It is 
another older series about a vampire who gets reincarnated and put into the body of a doll, a girl doll. And it's just a lot of shenanigans. Like, there's not really, like, an overarching plot. It's just a lot of really crazy, silly situations. And although that can be really fun to just have a bunch of shenanigans, I would much rather have, like an actual story going on. So this is another one of those. Liked it, didn't really love it, so it's going to be going out of my collection and into someone else's. Next I have Forbidden Scrollery Volume 1. This is based off the video game Toho Project. It has the characters from Toho. It doesn't have my favorite character, which was kind of sad. It might have her in later volumes, but this was just one that, again, I liked it. I didn't super love it. I have other series that I love so much more, and I would rather put the effort into collecting those series rather than collecting this one. So it's going to go. This one I picked up fairly recently. I love the Darkstalkers video games. I also loved the Toho video games. Which is why I picked up these last two volumes, because nostalgia, these games were awesome. I grew up playing them at my friends' houses because my family didn't believe in video games, for whatever reason. When I was in high school, my parents decided to get our family an Atari and some old Atari games, which was way behind the times, but kind of cool at the same time. Um, I really enjoyed the art in this. The story skips from Darkstalkers to another story and then back to Darkstalkers. The skip kind of bothered me and I didn't enjoy this Red Earth story as much. Um, I actually have an idea of who I want to give this to. Looking at you, Jin Graves. If you don't have this and you want it, hit me up. But again, this is one that's going to be leaving my collection. Next, I have the complete series of Samurai Shampoo. This is the all-in-one edition. Um, this is one of those series that I watched the anime a long time ago. I bought this manga because the anime cuts off and doesn't actually have an ending. Well, guess what? So does the manga. So... I've decided that I'm going to just let this go and stop letting the nostalgia convince me that I need this in my collection. Next, I have a first volume that I read recently, um, A Terrified Teacher at Ghoul School. This one was pretty fun. It's about this teacher who ends up getting a job at a school where yokai are taught. And he's a scaredy cat, so shenanigans and silliness. Um, I did enjoy this, but again, I didn't love it. I wasn't dying for the next volume after I finished this volume, so I'm going to let it go. Next, I have another complete in one volume series, Kimono Friends. Welcome to Japari Park. This is about a young woman who gets a job at a zoo basically and she is there to help take care of the animals which are all personified into very cute girls. This was a really cute series. I did like the art but again liked it, didn't love it. The next two that I have are from artists that I absolutely adore, but I don't really love any of the series that they have put out that's been translated into English. These artists are amazing. You know what? I just realized I can't show you this. It has nudity in it. This is a BL. It has a bunch of short stories in it by this creator. They're cute, fun, a little bit smexy, 
They all have trap boys, so none of the boys actually look like boys, or none of the partners actually look like boys. But again, this is one of those series that the art, amazing. The story, mm, meh. And then moving on to this one, this is another one of those series that I love the art so, so, so much. But the story is just not doing it for me. I really hope that Aki publishes something that I love because I love their art so much. I am still holding on to Olympos, which is another all-in-one series that they have done, but this one I'm going to be letting go. Next, I have another older series. This is My The Psychic Girl Perfect Collection Volume 1. It's an older series. I think there was an anime for this. I never really watched it. I picked this up just based on the cover and flipping through some of the art because I really enjoyed it, but the story was only so-so for me. So this one's gonna be leaving my collection. Next, I have another complete collection. This is Takeru Opera Susano, Sword of the Devil. This one, I really enjoyed the art. I did like the story. It was one that I had a lot of fun reading it, but once it was over, it was kind of just middle of the road for me. When I was thinking back on the story, it was kind of, oh, it was good, I guess, but it wasn't great or amazing. So this one is going to be leaving my collection. Next, I have another older title, Tale of a White Knight. This is an all-in-one manga. It's a compilation of a lot of short horror stories. I did enjoy the art. Some of the stories were really cool and some of them were creepy. This, again, is one of those. It was good. It wasn't great. I liked it. I didn't love it. So why keep it in my collection? Next, I have a series that I picked up a long time ago. This is Onegai Teacher. They also have another series called Onegai Twins. I don't think that there was ever a manga for that series. I think it was just an anime, but I watched the anime and read the manga very early on into my collecting years. This is about this boy who has a health condition that basically makes him pass out and they're not sure why. And he meets this woman who is an alien and she comes and becomes his teacher. So they've got this teacher-student romantic interest thing they get married to cover up the fact that she's an alien, which doesn't make any sense at all. But at the time when I read it, I really liked it. And now I'm just kind of middle of the road about it. Next is a fairly recent pickup for me. This is Juana and the Dragon Newt's Seven Kingdoms. This is about a world where these Dragon creatures are basically the main inhabitants of the world. Human beings have not existed for a very long time. Some people think that it's just fantasy that they ever existed. And then there's this girl and they decide to go on an adventure to find her family, etc., etc. They build a friendship. Um, this, I loved the art. I still love these covers. They're so beautiful. The story was good, not amazing. The end left me wanting. And that is the main reason why I'm going to be letting go of this series. Next, I have another very old one volume series that has a bunch of short stories again. This has some of the most unique art that I've ever seen. The stories in this can get really dark. There's tons and tons of trigger warnings. Like I could not even tell you all of them. Like, please look this up before picking it up. Um, I will say that if you like dark 
and triggering series, this is one for you. But I am going to be letting it go. It, I don't even remember really why I loved this so much back in the day because now I just, it's a little much for me. So this one is going to be leaving. And lastly, I have the first three volumes of The Disappearance of Nagato Yuki-chan. I was not ever a huge fan of the Haruhi Suzumiya series, but I was a big fan of Yuki. She was my favorite character. I adored her so, so much. When I heard that they were making a series about just her, I started picking them up and never continued. I reread this recently and it's just not on my list of priorities. And that is it for my manga unhaul. 44 volumes leaving my collection so I can put 44 new volumes into my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, send me a comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!